Alright, what's up guys, my name is Rero, and welcome back to a different kind of video. Yes, a different kind of video because uh, we don't usually do talks like this, but we're gonna do it now. Because as you all know, football is coming back once more after, you know, the international tournaments were over. And uh, we're heading now into the pre-season before we get into the main season. Nice! So obviously, as a Barca fan, I have to say that last season was completely shite. There was, there was realistically nothing good to talk about. We lost the Super Copa de España 4-1. We lost the Copa del Rey to Athletic Bilbao 4-2. We went out into the semifinals, I think. Obviously, La Liga was just a complete utter disaster. We managed to scrape second place, but I I've got to admit, we had a lot, and I mean a lot of shit matches. You're goddamn right. And don't even get me started on the fucking Champions League. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's just been a horrific season for us. And thanks to that season, obviously Xavi got sacked and now we've got Hansi Flick. Nice. Yes, the man who destroyed us 8-2 is back and he's now managing us. So <laughs> it kind of feels like, I don't know, it kind of feels like bittersweet, you know? The guy that gave us the biggest humiliation in our history is now our coach. So it, it, you can take it or leave it. it. It's a good thing and a bad thing, I guess, at the same time. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, he's our coach now. So before the preseason starts, I thought I might actually make a video on the things I would actually like to see during our matches. Anyway, Barcelona is going to face up against a lot of good opponents, which is good for us because obviously we're not going to learn anything if you face up against easy opponents. So without further ado, let me tell you about the five things that I want to see from Barcelona in this preseason. So at number five, I think it's obvious to say that uh, we need new tactics, okay? We cannot keep relying on Tiki Taka for every single fucking match, even though it is obviously part of our history. It's not always the way anymore. You've got teams that just low block and just counter the whole time. And we have suffered thanks to that, especially against the smaller teams like Granada, Cadiz. If you watch those matches against those types of teams, you would notice that all of them start with five at the back and then just counter, counter, counter the whole fucking match and it's very frustrating to see because instead of you know adapting to that what Barcelona does instead is just they just keep trying to pass through the back line which is obviously very difficult because because the teams are usually very compact and it's hard to just pass through the defense like that obviously we have our moments where that does work and you know it does lead to a goal but it's not a reliable method right so so what I want to see in this preseason is a new way of playing maybe we can instead play some long balls to our wingers maybe our fullbacks like balding can Cello can uh, overlap and we play a ball through there. You know what I mean? We, we can't just keep trying to force our way through and just pass it through like before because not only do we not have the quality for that like we had in the past with Busquets, Iniesta, Xavi, Messi, you know the lot but uh, teams have already adapted to that style and know how to play against it and uh, thanks to that we've lost uh, a lot of matches that we should have won. So I hope Hansi Flick keeps Tiki Taka but obviously he but I also hope he comes up with some new strategies to play against you know teams that play with a low block teams that you know press a lot teams that play long balls and all that because with Xavi he literally just played one style and that style only worked like 70% of the time and the 30% we just crumble and lost please come up with new strats Hansi Flick we, we desperately need it At number four, Hansi Flick really needs to focus on the physical aspects of our team, okay? As everyone knows, Barcelona does suffer from a lot of injuries. I can't even tell you the amount of times Pedri gotten injured. Obviously, Gavi is out. De Jong's out too, I think. Overall, we just, got, we just have a lot of injuries, okay? Araujo is injured as well. And that's simply because we aren't physically fit to play those intensive matches for the whole 90 minutes. Most of you have noticed by now that Barcelona usually tend to play like what the first 60 minutes very well and then the last 30 minutes they just get tired or, so, or something I don't know and then they just drop their intensity and that's when the other team scores. The most infamous case of this was like the game against Girona I think. We were 2-1 up in the 60th minute we just dropped our heads for some reason and they just scored three goals and has to make it 4-2. We really gotta see the intensity they begin begin with last throughout the whole match instead of just you know until the 60th minute because we can't keep letting that happen because a match can be lost in 10 minutes we've seen that before they can be lost in 5 10 minutes so you gotta keep that intensity up the whole match to to not let that happen that's how Real Madrid wins their matches they just they never drop their heads throughout the whole match and they just win it at the last minute or whatever because they keep that intensity up and that's what we need to do 
at number three, I have to say this, we really need a new CDM, and I mean desperately. The reason we were so good back in 2022 was because of Busquets, and we didn't realize that until he left, and we had to settle for like De Jong to play CDM or Gundogan to play CDM. To be fair, I didn't even realize it either that that's why we were so good in defense is because we had Busquets there be so reliable for us in terms of, you know, getting the ball and passing it out. He was so good for us and once he left, no one was really able to fulfill that place. No one was as good as him under pressure. No one was as good as him, you know, passing it from the back. Xavi's temporary solution was Christensen, as you all know. And to be fair, he actually did a very good job at CDM, but we can't only have one reliable CDM on our squad. That's just foolish. We can't. Frankie the Young doesn't work there. Gundogan doesn't work there. We've seen that before. Our team doesn't work without a CDM. I think that's that's a fact. And Barcelona definitely forgot about that position because Busquets was has has been here for a long time. So that's why I don't think we've signed many. So the options that come to my head that could be good additions are I think Subimendi from Real Sociedad see that they're gunning for him actually a lot of teams are i don't know where Barca will be able to get him but he's an option obviously Kimmich is another one those two have been linked to barcelona a lot so that's why i'm just mentioning them i think there's also mikel marino who can play there and uh yeah i don't know who they'll sign oh wait i i, I just forgot barcelona did sign a cdm it was fucking oreo romeo bro <laughs> I can't believe my club actually thought Oreo Romeo was gonna be a good fucking option for us, for our team. <laughs> Barcelona, please, for the love of God, sign Nico Williams. <laughs> we need Nico Williams so badly. But yeah, we need it. We need a new left wing desperately, and there's no better options than Nico Williams. There's literally none. You saw. We all saw what he did at the Euros. We all saw how he dominated everyone every right back he played against and uh we need that we need that in our squad obviously he's good friends with yamal he's good friends with every single spanish player in our team so the chemistry is already there so he's literally perfect for our club perfect he's so perfect in fact that if you scroll through tiktok you can see you can see fans making donations saying Oh, please, just to buy Williams. We, we are that broke that the, the fans are taking upon themselves to just say, you know what, Barca? Yeah, we know you're broke, so here, take our money. Sign Nico Williams, so we'll be happy. <laughs> it's kind of ironic, isn't it? In the 2022 season, we were the team with the least goals conceded. Next season, we got absolutely dominated in defense. We got bent over and penetrated so badly by so many teams that even Granada scored three goals against us at home. <laughs> whether it was just individual mistakes from certain players or whether it was just bad tactics from Xavi, we suffered a lot thanks to our defense. And uh, we saw it against PSG, we saw it against Granada, we saw it against Athletic Bilbao both times we played against them. We saw it against, obviously, Real Madrid. I mean, just in the last season alone, we conceded 44 goals. Damn! We conceded the same goals as Mallorca, and they were 15. And the reason why I'm saying that's bad is because if you look at us and Real Madrid, Real Madrid only conceded 26 goals. <laughs> We literally switched roles. We literally switched positions with Real Madrid from last last season. We were elite in defending and Real Madrid weren't. And this season is the other way around. It's kind of ironic. It's just, it hurts at the same time. As I mentioned before, Busquets was the main reason of it. And we couldn't find anyone else. We tried Romeo, but Romeo sucked ass. I think on the Hansi flick, our defense will improve. We saw what he did with Bayern. We saw how good his pressing was. I wouldn't be surprised if he just find someone from the La Masia to fill in that position for at least now until we find someone else. So yeah, what I want to see from these preseason matches is that we keep our goals to like at least one or zero per match, two at most, but yeah. Show to us, the fans, that you have seen what happened last season. Just show up to us that, that you learned and you improved. Yeah, we have to, because Real Madrid recently got Mbappe, as you all know. Real Madrid's got Bellingham. Real Madrid's got one of the best, if not the best squad in the world. So unless we actually just want to get penetrated by them, we have got to improve. We have to. There's no other option. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this talk, I guess. I don't really know how to describe it. But if you have anything else that you want to see Barcelona do, please leave it in the comments. I'm curious to read the perspective of all the Barca fans because different people have the different opinions. And as always, despite all the losses, despite all the humiliations, despite the amount of injuries and painful memories we all suffer through, you still just have to keep your head up high and say, Visca Barca and Visca Catalonia. <laughs> <laughs>